What's up party people, my name is Daryl Wilson and today I'm doing a highly requested video. I'll be showing you all how you can translate your entire WordPress website into any language that you want. Now let's say for example someone speaks Spanish and they come to my website. On the bottom right here we have English and we also have Espanol. If they click on this it will then convert my entire WordPress website into that specific language. Now this works for any language, any language. Now there is also a a automatic translation as well that I'll talk about in this video, or you can go ahead and translate it yourself just in case you use slang. Cause I know every language out there uses slang and when you use automatic translators, they don't come out looking proper, you know? But let me just give you a quick demonstration of how this works and then I'll walk you through on how to use this free plugin. So I will click on translate page and uh, here we have a bunch of text. So what I'll do is here is say, you know what, instead of summer sale, we can leave it as, you know, we can leave it as that. Or I can say something like, you know, tiempo, tiempo, tiempo de fiesta, which is like time to party, you know? So basically what I'm saying here is that you can convert it the right way, but if you want to add some sort of touch to it, or you want to say it in your specific uh, country or language is style, you can do that because I know certain languages change it. Like for example, make money online in Spanish, they tend to say earn money online. So there's just a difference when you try to convert it uh, step by step. So uh, you can actually put it whatever you want. And then if you translate it, it will then appear as tiempo de fiesta. So what I'll do is go to save translation. And now if I go to the Espanol, you will see how it says tiempo de fiesta and it even uses the same font. So it's an amazing plugin. Now this is a free plugin so you can get set up right now. So let's go ahead and walk through on how to do this. Uh, first, let's change it back to English, shall we? Yeah, there we go, you know, there we go. My, my Spanish is a little rusty, you know, so the first thing that we'll do is go to dashboard and then you'll go to plugins and click on add new. And under search plugins, you will type in translate press. You can see I was messing around with this for quite some time. So this is the plugin that you need. And the reason why I like this plugin because it has auto translate with Google translate and also deep L, which is actually a really, it's actually a little bit better than Google translate. So once you install the plugin, you'll go down to your installed plugins. And then you can go ahead and find the plugins. So the plugin was called uh, translate press and you'll click on settings. Now there are some settings that you might want to adjust, but it's strictly up to you. And they're not that difficult to understand like native language names. So do you want to put the languages in their specific names? So for example, if you have like a, a Thai website and you want to translate it to Thai, you can use the Thai characters or you can use English and just say Thai, something like that. And then there's other options here, but uh, you can go through these on your own time. These aren't really that important to be honest. So for example, we have languages here and I put Spanish. Now I can remove that and I can put another language and they have a lot of other languages that you can pick. So you can kind of go through here and have fun. Now, if you do want to add multiple languages that does require the pro version, and I'll talk more about that a little bit towards the end of the video, but you don't need it for just one language. So I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Over here, we have automatic translation. So if you want to go ahead and translate your entire website using an auto translator, I'll be showing you how to do that. It's actually really simple in case you don't want to translate your entire website. But let's just go ahead and translate the website as is. So if you notice on the top here, you have translate website. Okay, so let's say you're brand new and you want to start translating your website. The first thing that you'll do is view as. You want to make sure that this is under logged out because that means for people who are coming to your website for the very first time, they will see uh, the translation as a logged out user because they're brand new, they're not logged in. So what you'll do is you'll simply just go ahead and click on pretty much anything and you will go ahead and translate it. So for example, we have summer sale, you know, fiesta, like it's a, it's, a, it's a sale party, you know, or something like that. So that means again, when someone actually clicks on the translate, the summer sale, it will appear as this right here. So that's basically how you get that set up. And I will click on saving translation and then 50% off, we have 50% ribajo. Did I pronounce it? Ribajado, something like that. I got to work on my Spanish, I know. But you get the idea here. So you can go ahead and pick every specific one and then change it for that language. And then again, whenever someone clicks on the translation, everything will translate on your website. Also, don't forget this works for pretty much any product as well. So this works with WooCommerce. So for example, I will click on this and then you can go ahead and make any changes that you want to 
your website. Also, if you need help, there is a free service that Depot offers. So you can go ahead and put in the specific word or name or phrase or whatever you want to translate. And then it'll show you the current translation over here. And then you can just go ahead and copy and paste that. And then you can just put it back on your website. So if you're having trouble translating everything, um, you can use Deepl and they will actually help you with your translations. So that's pretty much the entire plugin. It's free, it's amazing. Now let's just say you have a very large website and you want to convert everything with a one button click, which is a little bit more convenient. I'll show you how you can set that up with Deepl and also the pro version. So let me go to the dashboard here. So if you want to upgrade to the pro version, which some of you might, uh, it offers a lot of other add-ons. You can use as many languages as you want, and you can even have one button uh, translations for your entire WordPress website. So, you know, I can't even find it here, is it? Is it? No, it's not here. We have to go to the... Uh there are the settings. There we go. That, that's a quick way to get there. So the first thing that you'll need to do is purchase the pro version of the plugin. So I do have a discount for you all. So uh, I'll leave that in the description in this video as well. So I'll click on the pricing. Now, personally, I think the one that is most standard for people is probably the business plan because, well, I don't know how many websites that you have, but if you have a lot of other websites, you might want to go with the developer package. That's 199 euros or you can use the business, which is 139 euros per year. I would not recommend the personal because that does not have the Deeple integration that you need to translate your entire website with one click. So uh, I'll leave that discount in the description below. Now, once you purchase it, I'll take you to the account section and I'll just show you how to set this up. So you'll go to the add-ons download and you'll click on that and you'll see the add-on Deeple version 1.03 you'll go ahead and download that and then you will upload it to your WordPress website. So once you install the Deeple add-on, you'll go back to your dashboard under automatic translation and there should be a link over there to go to Deeple and it'll take you to this page here. Now, uh, I'll put this in the description of this video as well. So you can start for free using the free trial to see how it works out for you. But either way, it's really, really cheap. It's only five bucks a month. And that gives you translations for like, I think it's like a million translations. It's a lot of translations. So uh, what you'll do is you'll go ahead and start a free trial or you just pay the $5 a month, whatever you wanna do. And then I'll meet you in the account section. But once you sign up for Deeple, you will see the API key. You can go ahead and copy and paste your API key over here into the API key section. And now you are all ready to convert your website into pretty much any language that you want. So it's pretty incredible. Now, one thing to note is that now the business package will allow you to have as many languages on as you want on your website. The personal does not. And just remember that the business is only good for three websites and the developer is good for unlimited websites. So that's really up to you what you're trying to achieve or how many websites that you want to translate for yourself or your clients. So let's go ahead and test this out now. So let's go back to our website. And the first thing that you'll do after you copy and paste that API key is you'll click on general. So now you need to select a specific language. So it's like, okay, what website or what language do you want to convert your entire website to? Well, I'll do something like, let's do something very unique. We'll do something like Chinese. I guess they have different dialects. So uh, I just selected Taiwan and I will click on add and then I will click on save changes. So once that's done, we'll go back to our website and let's test this out. So visit sites. On the bottom right, we have English, and now we also have Chinese. So if I click on this, my whole website should now convert to the Chinese language, and there it goes. So that's actually really cool. And now, one thing to note is that some uh, characters don't have direct translations to certain languages. So let's say, for example, I mean, this did a really good job, actually. <laughs> like, this okay, here we go, the, 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 it missed one. So what you might wanna do is go click on translate and then translate the days, hours, and minutes. Uh, also, if you want to change the add to cart, you can go ahead and go to the translate page and translate the add to cart. But it did a really good job. I mean, it pretty much did, it even did the footer. So it's an amazing plugin. So if you wanna translate your whole website, uh, I highly recommend using, I guess it's pronounced Deepl or Deep L. Uh, plus the actual pro version. It makes your life a lot easier. Now, let's just go ahead and let's just go check out a page here. Let's just make sure it did it all. You know, like not, it's just the, it's not just the homepage here. And this is the about us page. So yeah, it, it did the whole about us page. So incredible, really, really good. Now this is, uh, this, this is lorem ipsum text. So there's no translation for this in any language. 
But I mean, um, yeah, it did a really incredible job. So to those developers out there, good job. You know, this is a really cool plugin and uh, it makes life a lot easier. Now you don't have to do that. You can just use the free version and translate it as much as you want. Uh, but that's you know up to you. So I hope this video helped you out. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, if this helped you out. Uh, let me know if you've used this plugin before and what was your experience with this plugin. So hopefully by now you can change your whole website into any language that you want. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video guys. Take it easy.